Hey guys, it's Postbox Pat and welcome back to a new video and today we're going to be discussing the idea of the Boogie Bomb, where to find the Boogie Bomb and how overpowered is the Boogie Bomb. Now, the Boogie Bomb is a new weapon or grenade, should I say, added into the game recently. I have done a video on it in the past, me using it, getting my first Boogie Bomb, but I'm going to be talking a little bit more about the Boogie Bomb in general and what kind of reviews it's getting on in the community. Now, I've been playing Fortnite quite a bit. I didn't really play it much over Christmas Day. I played it like one or two games and that was really it. But Fortnite itself, the Boogie Bomb has been seeing a lot of play. Now, I did get a bit of gameplay over Christmas, on Christmas Day actually, where I just played one or two games and actually got the Boogie Bomb, which I'll show you guys in a moment, talking about why it is quite a powerful item and why you should avoid, well, why the developers need to avoid kind of keeping it in the game depending on situations or maybe nerfing it or changing it up. Now, the Boogie Bomb, if you don't know what it does, it basically makes you lose control of being able to shoot and being able to actually build items. So you have no defense other than to jump around and dodge bullets, which potentially is very hard to do if the person you're fighting against is about three meters in front of you and you've got nowhere to run to get cover to or anything. You're kind of just jumping around dodging bullets and it can be quite awkward if the person's got a shotgun or an, maybe a submachine gun or something like that. Maybe ARs, they're, quite, they're a little bit easier to dodge dodge than shotguns and stuff like that but if they have got something else then they could get you quite easily so here's just a little clip of me using the boogie bump we used this the other day just a nice little clip i want to show you guys quite a cool clip you can just see the animation and stuff but generally the boogie bump is a very overpowered item and it's something that i do want to kind of talk about a little bit because I've been seeing all sorts of mixed reviews in the comments, all sorts of mixed reviews on the internet in general, like Reddit, places like that, and people have actually been reacting to the Boogie Bomb quite strangely. A lot of people do like it, and a lot of people don't like it. It's one of them weapons or items that are kind of, they have changed the game, but they can easily make it different, if you know what I mean. It could just be made like, like the bush, for example. There were two bushes at the start. Now, the bush isn't very powerful, and not many people use it, because it is quite easy to notice when someone's in a bush, but... The bush itself was did start out as two items and then got reduced to one. Now, with the boogie bomb, it could simply be made a blue grenade and it could be reduced the amount of time you're boogie for. Or maybe it's made into a complete different mechanic. You Maybe you can still build while getting boogie bombed, but you can't shoot. Or maybe you can't crouch. Or maybe, I don't know, there must be a way of them changing it up a little bit to make the boogie bomb completely different. Maybe there should be a game mode without the boogie bomb. I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure what's going on exactly with in their minds because the boogie bomb was a cool idea. I did really like the idea. I think it's very enjoyable when you do get a kill using it. I've never been personally been killed by someone using the boogie bomb, but it is very frustrating. Now, the gameplay coming up right now is me actually getting a bunch of kills with the boogie bomb. I get two boogie bombs and get two nice little kills straight after very easily. And I just want to just kind of mention a little bit about it because in this sort of situation the boogie bomb does come in handy early on like this but it's the late game stuff that can annoy people and make them angry so i get a boogie bomb there from a chest that's how you find boogie bombs you either find them in chests or find them on the ground they're very easy items to get hold of but you only get one of them so as you can see one of the enemies do drop here and they do manage to get a weapon so the one with the weapon i decided to boogie bomb now my shots are quite inaccurate because it's like my first game on and it was christmas day but i just thought you know what we'll take him out we'll leave him down and we'll go for his friend so basically what i did there is i used the boogie bomb to stop him from killing me with his ar or getting any damage on me and his friend here he's there i see another boogie bomb that he gets in that chest i've only got a few shots left so i have to be careful but i managed to whack them all off and get him easily they run in grab the boogie bomb i didn't manage to kill the guy but i just switched to my pickaxe one more hit or two hits with the pickaxe and he's doomed three hits four hits four hits with the pickaxe and he's doomed <laughs> so i grab the item and i get the weapon i go over here i see you know what there's another guy here down somewhere i look for him i do get shot a little bit and take a little bit of damage i see the other guy down i take him out quickly grab the items quick and do take a little bit of damage now i do have the other boogie bomb i switch to it I see the guy. My person on my team's only got a python. So there you are. Or a revolver, should I say. And I get the AR triple burst. Miss a few shots because he's jumping about. Again, the free burst isn't the best in close range like that. But I managed to get the kill off. And it's nice and simple. So that's just a little bit about the boogie bomb. You can see how I used it there to survive. And I managed to go on and do better in that gameplay. But... It wasn't really, no point showing that gameplay, but I just managed to go on and play. We didn't actually win, but you can see what I mean. It's just, you can use it in situations like that, if required, to take out enemies and stuff like that. So, it's really cool for that sense of stuff, because it's only early game, and early game doesn't bother people as much as, like, say, late game. If you get late game boogie bombed, it's kind of frustrating. If a guy runs up to you with a shotgun, boogie bombs you, and then kills you with the shotgun. It hasn't happened to me. I can say that it has not happened to me, but I have done it to other people. I don't have the gameplay of it, but I've done it to a few people in the past, and I've seen a bunch of people do it on YouTube. So 
it's something I just wanted to mention and just talk a little bit about. But I want to know what you guys think of the Boogie Bomb. It's something that is very interesting in the game and it's very easy to get hold of. Like I said, you can just find it in chests very easy. Uh, it's a pretty common item in chests and it's pretty common around the map as well. Even though it's an uncommon item, it is quite easy to get hold of. I've never actually had more than four on me at once. And that was because just I killed a bunch of people and grabbed them. And that was on 50v50. But I've only ever really, I didn't actually use any of them, but I've only ever had four on me at once. I don't know how many you guys have had. Tell me in the comment section down below how many you've had. Do you think that the Boogie Bomb maybe should be nerfed somehow? How do you think it should be nerfed? I personally think it should be nerfed with the reduced time of the dance maybe. Or maybe, I don't, it's hard to actually say what's going on with the boot it's, it's one of them it's a very weird item because it gives you the it basically stops your opponent from fighting back and gives you a massive advantage if you manage to hit the boogie bomb so who knows exactly what's going to happen with the boogie bomb maybe it'll just get taken out of the game and get put into the grenade launcher game mode only i'm not 100 percent sure what's or the, the explosive game mode i'm not 100 percent sure what's going on with that in general so hope you guys have enjoyed this video it's only been a short one today but tell me down below what you think of the boogie bomb it's just something i wanted to make a little comment on don't forget the channel has been doing absolutely insane go and check out yesterday's christmas special because i'm going to be doing a q a very soon i'm going to have a bunch more videos coming out to you guys as soon as possible the channel has been doing really well i'd like to thank everybody for the support recently but yeah the boogie bomb should it be in the game should it be nerfed that's a decision we've got to make as a community uh obviously developers will listen to us because they are amazing epic games have done a great job with developing this game and they do really listen to the community and focus on it there's a bunch of stuff with the boogie bomb that's making the game completely change up a little bit like i was saying but we'll have to see how that's going to go so don't forget to leave a like comment subscribe and once again this is postbots part signing out